Authorities are looking into the culprit behind the leaked documents of Korea's nuclear power plant operator say it doesn't appear to be a one-man job at this point. They also say the IP addresses used in the cyber attack originate from China. For the details, here's Connie Kim. Halt operations at three of Korea's nuclear facilities by Christmas Day or face the consequences. That was a threat earlier this week from hackers who say they'll release tens of thousands of documents related to the nation's nuclear reactors and destroy control systems if their demands are not met. They've already leaked documents on five separate occasions over the last week. The information released Wednesday included blueprints for nuclear facilities. The joint investigation team has concluded that the hacker has been logging in from an IP address in China. The Twitter ID he or she used was registered in the U.S. And Korean investigators have asked authorities in both China and the U.S. for assistance in their probe. And in response to the recent security breach, the Energy Ministry conducted a two-day-long cybersecurity drill this week on all of Korea's nuclear facilities. The network security of power plants was reviewed, as was protocol for shutting them down in the case of a malfunction. Trying to ease public concern, the state-run Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company says the leaks pose no threat as the information being released has no impact on the safety at the plants. But experts remain skeptical. The hackers say they have about 100,000 pieces of data. Even if that data is not highly classified, it can be reassembled, creating a huge chunk of new information. Then it becomes very dangerous. President Park Geun-hye has categorized the security breach as a grave incident. She called on the government to ensure that key facilities, including nuclear plants, are prepared to counter cyber terror threats. In response to the potential hacking threat, the energy ministry raised its alert level against cyber attacks one notch to the third highest level of caution on Tuesday. Connie Kim, Arirang News.